Hello everyone. How are you coping in this continued pandemic pandemonium? Have you snapped yet? Do you feel like you're about to? You know, I find that we human beings have this general tendency whenever we come up against any sort of true personal upheaval. It's shock, cope, snap. First they're shock. This is when we brace ourselves and we adjust to a new way of doing things because we have to and there's no other choice. Then there's cope. This is when we manage the new day by day and we tell ourselves that everything is okay, that it's gonna be okay, but you know, there's this underlying tension, this anxiety or apprehension or uncertainty or doubt or fear that we really don't have the time or take the time to process. And then eventually there's snap. It kind of looks like this video that my son Joel took of his son Isaiah just a couple of days ago. Yeah, that's a snap. And that is what happens to us when we go through these times. You know, sometimes we snap outwardly. We lash out, we yell, we scream, we do destructive things. Um, other times we, la we, we kind of, um, um, we snap internally. We go into depression. Um, we withdraw, uh, we lose hope, you know, we can always avoid snapping, or at least we can greatly minimize it. And it's really pretty simple, but so profound. We include God into the process. We ask God to give us understanding as to the situation we're in and what we should do. We look to his word and his spirit for guidance, direction, strength, and hope. And by involving God in the process, we can actually forge a better tomorrow. So if you haven't snapped yet, don't include God in the process and see the difference he can make.